Dobro veče. Dobro veče, Divine Pisces 2.22. It is Friday. Happy Friday. Uh, June 18th, 2021. I'm going to take a look at these connections, see what's going on today. Uh, I, I feel a very strong pull to basically return to like Kind of turning to yourself for peace. That's what I feel. It's like kind of, I feel a lot of people kind of going inward. Um, I feel a lot of people going inward, maybe doing soul searching, but at the same time, it's almost like disconnecting from the outside for a little while, trying to kind of balance out the external and really focusing on the internal, and that's really good. So it's like we're kind of backing away from the conflict that's going on externally and dealing with the conflict that's going on within. Uh, and trying to bring all of that back into balance and back together, which is great. So masculine and feminine, I do feel kind of coming back into alignment a little bit. I, and that's the thing with with the masculine and the feminine. They kind of have this ebb and flow, right? The the hot and cold, the in and out, so to speak. And, you know, sure, let's talk about the, you can talk about the people, like the actual persons that embody these energies. But I'm talking about also the internal energy. So we both have, you know, we all have both, right? So I just feel like the in and out, the push and pull, the, the, the polarities that have been happening, the mirroring and so on, it's, it's just constant ebb and flow, ebb and flow, ebb and flow. And it's like we just kind of go with it, right? And it's bringing it back into balance uh, so that we can focus again on the same ends. Um, so right now, yeah, pain, uh, overall energy, pain, root chakra. And I know I mentioned this earlier this week, and this has been kind of a thing going on, especially with the masculine energy, releasing a lot of the fear of the the, the attachments to 3D things, uh, materialistic wealth, um, 3D concepts, constructs, things like that. Things, these things are falling down. There's a lot of pain that is that is happening while this is going on. Okay, so like stomach issues, IBS, you know, um, even just in general, like pain, like um, maybe leg pain, stiffness in the joints, um, back pain, things like that. Um, and, and some feminines, you are also feeling this as well. So again, we, we all have both, right? So if you're in your masculine energy and you're releasing some of the 3D things, which a lot of us are, um, you know, it, it goes hand in hand, okay? You're probably feeling this as well. Um, and this is really just your masculine energy or even your masculine person releasing, purging um, the 3D constructs, the 3D programming or, you know, whatever it is you want to call it. Sorry about that. Had to adjust something. Uh, so I'm back. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I feel right now it's almost like we're we're purging these things. We're we're ridding ourselves of these things so that we can come back into balance and we can actually move forward. Because honestly, right now, I know you guys know this that you've been watching me for a while. I've been talking about the split, and and I know last year I think I mentioned a dream I had where it was like you had to pick a weapon and we were going to war. I mean, it's happening right now, guys. It's it's literally like we are fighting for our freedom right now. Literally fighting for our emotional, our physical, our our spiritual freedom at the moment, you know, from, from all of these programmings and things that we're told that we need to believe and we know that's bull crap, right? Um, right, and the key to that, of course, is, is bringing yourself back into balance and seeing all the things, seeing all sides of everything, seeing the bigger picture and knowing that the only way we can do that is bringing ourselves into balance um, and acknowledging the truth as it is. And a lot of us, yes, this is bringing us grief, releasing some things, people, um, and I, I have heard from so many people, guys, I know it's not, it, look, if you're going through this, it's not just you. And I've been through this. I'm still kind of going through it myself. Um, other readers are going through this, releasing people, family, friends. Um, it's like this split is happening in the middle of families even, okay? It's dividing children from their parents. It's dividing siblings. It's dividing, you know, whatever. Okay, it's it's literally like a split and there are some of us who are having to really face this and to release these things and just not take it on ourselves anymore. Okay, so you're not alone with this. Um, it's very painful process when you're literally shedding all of the things you thought you knew about love and what it means about family um, and what it means to stand in your power. You know, and it's just, it's painful. 
is painful, okay? So you're not alone. Connect with others on the forum that are going through the same thing, okay, guys? Like, you're not alone in this, okay? Send me an email, whatever. I'm happy to help, okay? All right, so let's take a look at the feminine. Yeah, sovereignty. So feminine bringing, again, herself back into balance, like bringing back her sovereignty. I mean, like, you know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna let other people's energy mess with mine, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, basically go back. I'm going back to basics, okay? I'm going back to um, believing in myself and knowing that, you know, I have the power within. I don't need anything external to validate me. Um, you know, I know that my abundance is here and it lies within myself and then it lies within my gifts that are, have been given to me um, by source. And, you know, I'm gaining the wisdom as I move on, you know, and every single step that I take is like I get more and more uh, wisdom coming in. And some of you, yeah, you feel like the boat is rocking a little bit and you're just kind of like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, am I, am I going to survive this? I'm going to fall into the water. And, you know, what do I hold on to? What do, what do I, what do I need right now? You know, and, and feminine, you're really being called to, to just have patience with yourself right now as you're going through this process, you know, as you're purging and you're, you're, you're literally reprogramming, you're being reprogrammed right now. You're reprogramming yourself. Okay. Um, it's literally like, okay, last year we had the hard reset. I really feel like this is a reset for feminine at the moment. Reset for masculine too, but feminine, I feel it's, it's deeper than the 3d for feminine right now. There's a lot of I think a lot of us questioning even our spiritual beliefs and the things that we had believed so far, especially on this twin flame journey, like shedding the twin flame programming, releasing the obsession of a particular person, actually stepping into the next part of the journey that, 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 you know, happens after you release your person, you release the chains around your person. And I talked about the chains, um, releasing your chains on Tuesday to your DM. And I feel like a lot of feminines are like, yes, this was a wake up call. I need to release my chains on my DM. I have chains on my DM. Okay. Uh, and, and it's like, okay, so I've done that. I've done that. I released those chains. Now, what do I do now? What do I do? Right. Um, and so again, that's, that's kind of where your internal guidance comes in when you're shedding all of these programmings and, and literally just listening to yourself and knowing what you're hearing is truth. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I really feel this is going to be a big step for feminine here. Yeah. Yeah. Feminine, you're right now, you're literally releasing what you believe family means, the 3D concepts and, and structures that surround the ideas of, of family and happiness and money and, and that f just, just literally like material stuff coming in right? But it's also emotional for you as well. Um, a lot of you releasing family, again, releasing family, or maybe realizing that the family wasn't what you thought it was, or that they in some way were, 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 and I think this is, this is really hard because it's like, a lot of times it's like your family wants what's best, best for you. They think they know what's best for you. So it's like they program you do you see where I'm going with this? So that you will succeed. And, and it's very 3D driven. Okay. It's very emotional driven. It's very ego driven. The problem that we have is we're literally programming these children, like children, to, to believe that who they are at the base and who they are at the core is not good. Okay. Whether parents mean for that to be the case or not, it doesn't matter. That's what we're teaching children. Who you are at the core is not good. Who you are at the core will not be accepted. You must blend in. You must fit into society. You must fulfill a particular role. You must fit a particular mold. And if you do that, you will survive. Okay? This is what we're shedding right now. Okay? This is what we're shedding, right? Uh, seven of points so yeah I mean and it's hard it's hard because especially those of us maybe there's a lot of you that in separating yourself maybe from family or from people or others you, you have come to the realization that it's like you've been lied to and that's, that's like a betrayal, right? It's like a betrayal feeling. 
And maybe some of you are finding out again that your family um, maybe didn't, never really understood you in the first place and they, they're just not accepting you right now. And that's okay. That's okay. It's okay. Okay. And this is very emotional for feminine. I do feel that. Um, releasing, releasing the 3D and the 3D concepts can be very emotional, obviously, because emotion is tied to ego and ego usually is tied to the 3D. Okay. So, I mean, purge what you need to purge feminine. And I do feel there is a purge coming with feminine, like literally purging, releasing the emotions. And then externally, I do feel a lot of feminines maybe going through some stuff, maybe, um, literally purging her her belongings that have emotional attachments and and remindings or, or reminders of things maybe of the person maybe of your person or whatever it is that you're just purging right you're purging uh releasing the 3d concept so look at this you've got the king of cups in the upright and then you've got the king of pentacles in the reverse so it's literally like okay all right um, so, uh, releasing the 3d thoughts the 3d ideas of what this person is right purging those things emotionally okay and again could have to do with your your person okay um but yeah returning to standing in the power basically yes i am standing in my power now um i'm releasing all of this nonsense all this emotional stuff i'm just gonna let it purge let it purge let it purge uh, and then once i'm over that once i'm able to do that you know i can focus on myself again and yeah i can release the 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 toxicity that has been around me and for some of you yes this has to do with obsession some of you has to do with your person okay you've released that obsession you're like yes okay i've released chains on my my person it's time for me to move forward you know what's the next step what's the next step bring it to me please i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting okay and for some of you the next step is releasing everything else okay some of you that's the next step is dealing with with this stuff that you're dealing with right now okay and some of you you're you're like you're waiting for that next step but you're going through it right now so, so just just take a moment okay take a moment think about it you're already in the next step okay so you don't need to chase the next step the next step is actually presenting itself to you and that next step definitely has to do just releasing some of these 3d concepts and um, on Sunday, I'm going to be doing a live, um, you know, on the split and, and how to deal with it, but also crossing that with obsession, how to release it. And I'm probably going to talk a little bit about how to, um, get out of karmic situation and, and manifesting your way out. Cause some of you, yes, it's like, you just feel like you don't have the means to do any better than where you are now. Um, but this is, this is actually the lesson that you're learning and re resolving this particular karmic situation. And again, a karmic situation doesn't have to be a person. It can be, it can even be an energy that you're in. Okay. Um, but for some of you that it does have to do with a third party situation, whether it's a family, it's a person, it's a job. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, it is what it is, but it's like feminine's like, what do I do? What do I do with this energy? How do I get out of this? You know, and that's where the grief is coming in. Yeah. I still feel the pain. Yeah, and some of you do some of you do so you're just like in a lot of pain and that was in the you know, the overall energies that came in was pain okay pain grief okay I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the next step source show me but source is already showing you you're already in the next step feminine and some of you yeah I can't get enough of you some of you still kind of slowly releasing that uh, obsession I don't know how to feel I, I don't know what to do with this energy. I don't know how to feel about releasing you. I'm still not quite over you yet. Uh, I, I know I shouldn't reach out. I can't, I'm, I'm not going to. Um, please leave me alone, that kind of thing coming in. And some of you, this has to do with the karmic too. Some of you, this is a karmic situation. This is your family you're talking to. You're like, you know what, I can't, I can't talk to you. I can't be around you right now. It's nothing personal. I've got to deal with my stuff. Uh, but for some of you, I feel so happy with you. Some of you, this is your higher self too. You know, so these messages can go any way. They take them as they resonate. This could be a message to your higher self or to yourself or from your higher self, whatever, from your inner masculine, inner feminine. Take them as they resonate, okay? I trusted you. And some of you, this again has to do with your family. Some of you, this has to do maybe even, okay, soul family. Um, but I'm mostly, you know, some of you, you trusted some people you really probably are regretting that you trusted that led you down the path of obsession. And you're sitting going, I trusted you. You betrayed me. Um, you know, I realize you don't, I don't share the same values with you. 
I don't know who you are, you know, and therefore I just can't be, I can't be here. Okay. So a lot of these realizations kind of literally crashing down on feminine right now. Tower moment, major tower moment, major tower moment. Some of it, it may be an epiphany. It might not be as painful as, you know, losing a family member or something like that. For some of you, it's just an epiphany. Um, but it's still bringing its own share of kind of a pain, maybe an emotional pain, um, just a just feeling feeling a little betrayed at the moment. Feminine is okay, everything in per perfect balance. So again, feminine just trying to bring herself back into balance right now, trying to stand in her power, not letting yeah embrace oneness with the universe. So embrace embrace literally union with with your path with what's happening right now it's happening for a reason right um some of you you just need to up your protection game you do have a lot of outside interference some of you you still have some people who are literally working against you whether consciously or unconsciously it doesn't matter they're still working against you okay so put up your boundaries do what you got to do disconnect if you need to if you need a cord cutting let me know i do that okay the solution for every problem yes you're never stuck you're never ever ever stuck where you are ever okay it doesn't matter money doesn't mean anything merge with it just merge with the flow let things take their course okay everything comes full circle eventually all right so let's take a look at masculine see what's going on with the masculine energy yeah masculine i do feel is connecting a lot of the dots right now with the with the 3d and the, the 5d at the moment it's like he's and I, I it's just like it's it's like he's coming to terms with the fact again that he's he's been so much in like the need energy in the want energy in the i don't have energy you see where i'm going with this some of them I do feel are watch. Look, I feel divine masculines do watch readings. There are a lot of divine masculines out there that watch readings. I know I have masculines who watch readings on my channel. Okay, and so I feel like they're really kind of going back to them being like, okay, you know what? Obviously, this problem, this problem is not a three D problem. Okay, I need to I need to connect to my to my higher self right now. I need to figure out where I need to go. Um, you know, I'm trying to manifest my abundance right now and realizing it doesn't actually lie in the three D. It's not a three D thing. It's a five D thing. Um, I, I feel there are some masculines out there that are starting maybe a meditation process. Um, like a routine. I, I feel some are meditating. Some are mo doing mantras. Some are doing subliminals and things like that. It's like they're really turning to the spiritual side right now because they realize the answer is not in the 3D. Now, how they came to that realization, I'm not 100%, but I feel like some of them either they stumbled across a reading, they stumbled across some sort of, you know, it, serendipitous, right? That uh, it's like they they were confused and then boom, like maybe they saw an article on something or, you know, something that's kind of connecting the dots for them. And they're like, you know what? I'm going to try this. Nothing else has worked. So let me try this and see if it works. Some of them, it's it's feminine. Some of them, it's like feminine had planted the seed. But like, you know, I do this. Maybe you should try this. And maybe they're like, into not, nah, that's just woo-woo. I don't want to do all that. Nah, 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 nah. I can fix this. And then they're like, you know what? Maybe my femme had... Maybe femme had the right idea, right? Yeah, masculine. <laughs> maybe femme had the right idea here and I need to stop wishing and hoping and waiting and, and actually just do something about it. But maybe the answer doesn't necessarily lie within the 3D. Some of them are feeling so invisible in their, their situations right now. They, they don't know what to do. Like they, they can't be themselves at all. And they don't even know who they are. They don't know who they are at the core, right? Because these cycles have repeated over and over and over and over and over again. It's like they define themselves by their cycle and what cycle they're in. But yeah, I feel they're getting messages, guys. They are getting messages. They're getting signs. They're, the source is trying to lead them in the right direction. Okay, source is pulling them to move in the right direction. Whether they do or not is their free will. But I feel like a lot of them, the one, the awakened ones, the ones who are going through awakening, are taking it seriously. Okay, they're taking it seriously. Okay, and for some of you, this is five D. That some of you, uh, they're communicating with you in the five D, or you're communicating with them. They've got your message. Some of you, those of you who are with your fem, your um, your masculine, and I know there there are um. Uh, people in union with their counterparts that watch my channel, okay? Um, and this this still, this push and pull dynamic, it still happens even when you're in union, okay? Uh, it's just a different dynamic. 
But those of you who are in, a, you know, in a connection or in a relationship or whatever with your, your counterpart, your masculine, um, I do feel your masculine is going to be trying to communicate with you a little bit more about this stuff. Uh, maybe um, talk to you, maybe ask advice even, um, you know, and, and being a little bit more open to what comes through for you. I know this, <laughs> this is true. My situation, KOC, he asked me for readings every now and then. He's like, you know what? I, I don't. I don't see a 3D solution to this. Can you can you pull some cards and see see what's going on and, and give me some advice? And then I do. Um, last one I did was last week. And ever since I've done that reading and I really touched on some inner child stuff and like, you know, the things that he's facing, the cycles he's repeating, he's just like, he's been, his energy has changed completely. Like he started doing mantras. Like he's, he's you know, asked to listen to binaural beats when we sleep. You know, it's like he's just transitioning into the more the, the 5D aspects. And we're like, you know what, you... Taking your leap of faith, right? He said to, he said that to me. He's like, you you just make me want to quit my job now and, and focus on what I want to do. And I'm like, that's, yes, 5D, 3D, whatever. It, it, they work together, but the 5D leads. You have to get yourself in that energy first. And that's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Feminine leads, right? And not just the person, but the energy. But let's talk about the person for a second. So feminine, when you take your leap of faith and when you get out of that certain energy and you shift your energy and you start doing the things... Masculine is watching you. He feels you. He is inspired to do the same. And that's what's happening right now. Okay. So masculine. Okay. So yeah, masculine, I do feel. And with that message card coming up in the uh, overall energies for, fem for masculine, I do feel some of you are going to either get an apology or some sort of offer from your masculine. Maybe again, and uh, I feel like this might be even just like, can you help me? Like, I'm not quite sure what to do and I haven't talked to you in a long time but here's what's going on with me can you help you know things like that and you will be able to know um you'll be able to know if your masculine is in earnest when they come to you if they're in integrity if they're actually asking for help or if they're just coming in for another touch and go you'll be able to feel that okay but I'm talking to I'm talking about the true masculines out there the true ones this I feel like this is the collective that I'm picking up on today okay the true awakened masculines right now they are feeling it. They don't, this energy, this anxious energy of not being able to complete what they start, um, repeating cycles over and over and over again, they don't want that anymore. And they're coming out of their heads. They are coming out of their heads. I feel like a lot of masculines are coming out of that defensive, no, I'm fine energy. <laughs> you know, don't talk to me, I'm fine energy and embracing the spiritual side of things. Yeah, realizing that, that where, the energy that they have been in has not been fulfilling at all. They've been in too much conflict, even just with themselves at the moment. Um, they're trying to avoid that conflict as much as they can. Uh, they realize they haven't been very motivated. Um, and, and now they're just like, yeah, okay, so I get it. Like the universe provides, show me what to do. Um, let me try this again because nothing else was working, right? I was just sitting here in this energy and not, not moving and... You know, it's like I put all of my energy into being in this energy, if that makes sense at all. And it's like, yeah, no, this is not where I need to be at all. And again, they're, they're, they are deprogramming themselves. A lot of them with the attachment to the 3D, what is expected of them? What does it mean to be a masculine in general? Um, all of those things are falling away. It's like they're just being true, than them, true, uh, true to themselves um, and realizing that maybe those around them have been telling them things that have been keeping them in lack. Okay. Yeah, just like feel literally feeling like I don't know what to do either. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So mirroring going on here. Help me, fem. Help me, fem. Help me, fem. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, like keeping myself trapped here. It's keeping me from fulfilling my abundance. And boom, what do you know? There's a tower right there. So yeah, masculine again. Still releasing some of that root chakra. The um or the root chakra opening up. Um, I feel like, you know, even heartburn, stuff like that coming in for a I was like, I don't know why I'm feeling like this, you know, a loss of appetite, um, stuff like that. Okay. All right. Let's get some messages from the masculine. Yeah. World is upside down. Yep. Literally. Like I'm going a different direction here. I'm going a different direction. I'm trying to trust my intuition here. I've been self-sabotaging for way too long. Um, I love you. I appreciate you. Um, thank you for showing me the way, you know, and they are, uh, some of them, yes, this is, uh, this is it right here. They're realizing what unconditional love means and they realize they haven't been receiving that from anybody else. 
you know, they can only get it from inside. And that's, that's the point, right? Um, I can't be mad at you. I'm just mad at myself for self-sabotaging. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, okay. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a dream, wasn't it? Was it? No, it wasn't. Masculine. Um, I do definitely feel shared dreaming happening right now across the collective. And, you know, you can have shared dreaming. It doesn't have to be at the exact same time. Like, I've noticed that sometimes I have the same dream as somebody else, but it's like a week later. Messages and signs are everywhere. Of course, I love you. Stop asking this stupid question. Appearances are deceiving. And you already know the answer. Of course you do. All right, let's get some advice for masculine from source here. Whoa. Yeah, masculine needs to set some boundaries too. Really, really, really does. A lot of them, other people have been controlling them for way too long and they're starting to realize that and they need to be at peace. Um, and they need to come to terms, make peace with the situation, whether that means make peace with the person or not, or just make peace with themselves about the situation. Because some of them, it's like, you know, they realize they had a hand in it too. And it's just like, okay, you know what? Let me, let me acknowledge mine and do what I need to do and whatever, right? Yeah, it's time to let it go, masculine. Just let it go. Know your worth. Know that your worth is more than just money. It doesn't, it, mm, mm, don't tie your worth to the material, okay? Don't let others tell you or help. Don't let others define you. How do you like that? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, yeah, nothing is wasted, okay? And that includes time. <laughs> Time's not wasted either, masculine. You came to the, you came to the conclusion, don't beat yourself up that it, you know, it's too late or whatever. It's never too late. It's never too late. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the connecting energies. See what's going on here. Yeah. Yep. Opening Pandora's box, as it were, but we're literally just, just taking off the masks and learning what it means to be true to yourself. And some of you, you're learning the consequences of being true to yourself. But at the same time, it's like, you know what? I'm still going to be myself. I'm still going to be myself. And, and others can mock me. Others can try to make a fool of me. Others can try to hold me down. Others can try to control me, right? But I realize that only I can control me, right? And to hell with everybody else. And that's really, it's kind of where it's at, okay? Um, going beyond normal, realizing that there is no such thing as normal, um, and that programming Programming gets us nowhere. Programming just keeps us stuck in the same thing over and over and over again. We never break out, so we just need to listen for the truth here. So that's, yes, um, I do feel that's happening. And obviously with both, I did both masculine and feminine energies here. Just in an energy of being like, okay, I'm listening. I see the truth. I hear the truth. I know the truth. Let's move on. Let's go. I know who I am now. Like, I get it. Like, uh you know, I am not my allegiance. I am not my past. I am not any of that. I, you know, you are not, we are soul. We are soul. Okay. Um, and that's something I say, I have this uncanny ability to see through bull crap and to see through people. Um, and I've always had this and it's why people belittled me when I was younger. People were afraid of me. People didn't just didn't like it. Cause I could see through people. I can see through you. Like I can, and I call people out on their crap. And I, I do it a lot. And I do it to my own family. And they don't like it. People don't like being called on their crap. They don't like being triggered. They don't like any of that. Okay. And I feel like, you know, um, it, there are plenty of people who could probably use this for, for personal gain and in negative ways. But I choose to use this to help people. This is what I do. This is why, I, you know, if you get a reading from me, if you get a coaching or anything like that, I'm going to tell you hard truths. I'm going to tell you exactly what's going on. And I'm going to tell you how to fix it. You know, or at least, you know, tell you how I did it. Um, and so that scares people, you know. And I got into an energy where I was literally not being myself at all. Like I was trying to fit in and, and be normal, so to speak. Because that's what I was told I needed to do for people to like me, right? And then I, started, I tried to do that and realized I was still miserable. Because it's, people still didn't like me. Right? And it didn't matter. It didn't matter. That was the point. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. You know, I'm going to win. I'm going to do my thing. And who cares if anybody else thinks? Because that was the thing. I used to win. I used to win at, like, everything. 
was because I put my energy into it. And I was just like, yes, this is, this is, you know, I manifested it, right? People didn't like that. People also didn't like being saw through. I can see, I can see through you, you know? Um, but it's just like knowing who you are and stepping into your purpose and using the gifts that you were given to help others, to help the collective, to, to, to bring forward you know, maybe the new wave of people who need to come through. Like, that's that's what my job is, and that's what I feel like a lot of people are being called to do right now. You just embrace who you are. Your gifts will find you, again, because you already know what they are. And they were beaten out of you, like, early in life, you know, but they're going to they're gonna show themselves to you again, okay? Um, so, yeah, <laughs> like, a betrayed energy, man. I'm telling you, like, a lot of you do feel betrayed by some of the things that you are learning now. Yeah, some of you are just like, what was I even doing? What 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 was I what was I doing before? What was I doing before? I I don't even know. Like I all I know is that I wasn't happy where I was. I know I was keeping myself in this really messed up energy for some reason and and you know maybe you know now that I've kind of cleared some of that out I can actually move forward, you know, and realizing I was putting my energy in the wrong place. Yes, yes you were. Mhm. Mm we were putting our energy in the wrong place as a collective, more into the 3D than, you know, it's just like, um, now it's time to release that. Um, it's time to release that. Yeah. And the masculine energy right now is awakening to this. Like your masculine energy is like, yep, no more, no more, no more. Um, you know, I haven't been standing in my truth. I haven't been in my power. I haven't been embracing my feminine en uh, energy at all. And then the feminine energy is just like, okay, I've been too much in my masculine. Some of you have. You've been so worried about the 3D. You've been so worried about money. Money, 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 money. Yeah, money, 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 money. I don't have enough money. I don't have any of this. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's time to release that. Stop being so defeated. Stop being so defeated. It's time to make a, make a decision to... To change your reality now. Do it now. Do it now. Okay? Do it now. Changing your perspective. Changing what your belief system basically and what love means and what it what it means to actually love somebody or love yourself or love your family. Um, you know, and that's what this tower is all about. Right? And it's obviously healing going back and forth between them. In the connections right now. Okay, we're healing these connections. We're healing the collective. Okay. All right. Yep, balance. Bingo. So that's been coming up a lot in this reading. So bringing everything back into balance. Yeah, take your leap of faith. It's time to go. Move on. Trust. Get away from the pain. Bring back your stability. And you can find that within yourself. Okay. Yeah, some of you still need to release that obsessive energy. Okay. Yeah, and then some of you have a soulmate coming in or some of you, soulmate, twin flame, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's, it's whatever. Um, but yes, the, I mean, these connections obviously are soul-based. They are soul connections. Um, and some of you just need a reaffirmation for that. I'm not sure why, but you do. Okay, but there you go. There's your answer. Okay. All right. Let's see advice from source. Whoops. Yeah, show the world the real you. So yeah, this has a This has mission work all over it. Win-win outcome. So I mean, you can't fail. You can't. When you're in your truth, when you are who you're um called to be, when you do the things that you're called to do, you can't you can't lose. Yeah, energy's gaining momentum. I feel like it's just like everything's kind of speeding up. Some of you, yeah, you have a soulmate coming in. Some of you do have a romantic cycle coming in. And some of you, since you release or you're in the, in the energy of releasing your counterpart, um, either somebody else is coming in to help you um, while your, your, uh, your person does their thing or your person is coming back, okay, because, you know, it's time or whatever. All right, but yeah, emotions are definitely running high, especially on femme side. Um, so just try to balance yourself out, guys. It's going to be fine. Everything's fine. Um, so just a reminder, yeah, uh, Sunday I'm going to be doing a live. I'm really excited about it. I haven't done a live discussion in a while. Hope you guys can join me. Um, also if you guys, um, have any, um, 
suggestions maybe on future discussions that I can do, definitely let me know, send me an email, um, whatever. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always wanting to do this kind of stuff. I like interacting with um, my people, my subscribers, my followers live. Like, I just love my soul family so much. Um, and I love the support and I love being able to engage with you guys. So um, let me know what you guys want to do in the future. And, you know, I'll try to make that happen, okay? All right, guys, I hope you have a good rest of your day. I hope this has helped. If it has, please like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.